Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here playing Killerfish Games War on the Sea, our Operation Watchtower American playthrough. Um, we are picking up where we left off August 20th, 1942 at 10.05 in the morning. Uh, once this hits YouTube, it'll be episode number 50, which is what I set as a cap for the um, series, or a goal for the series. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Uh, we did have a few setbacks with the taking of Port Moresby and Milne Bay, but as you can see here, um, we still wouldn't have hit the uh, mark just with the Waddle Canal here. Um, we do have more troops and supplies coming at the end of this day, so uh, we're going to be able to do something with that. Uh, to recap the situation, we've got patrols up in this area uh, to intercept any supply convoys that might be coming down or anything else. Enterprise is patrolling in this area so she can kind of cover Solomon Sea and the slot here. Up in the slot we've got the Tar Heel Strike Group uh, still patrolling up in here. We've got Surface Action Group 5 patrolling down near Guadalcanal. Um, Heading up, we've got Surface Action Group 8. And heading over, we've got Surface Action Group 7, who is going to be uh, taking up primary responsibility for the defense of the area around Milne Bay and uh, Port Moresby. Now, what I've been thinking about doing is diverting them from their current course down here to Cooktown. Uh, to pick up these 500 troops and send them up to Port Moresby to uh, reinforce the garrison there. Uh, we are halfway to losing Port Moresby, so I figure if we add another 500 troops, um, we may be able to tip it back in our favor. Milne Bay is a little bit worse off. We are just about out of troops there. Um, They've been fighting pretty hard, but the Japanese are putting up a serious, serious offensive to take the island. Um, something else I should probably keep in mind going forward is Rennell Island is completely undefended as of this point. Uh, Thresher, Gato, and Tambor, let's take a look at them, 7 torpedoes, 21 torpedoes, and 12 torpedoes. Um, have Tambor come down and take up a patrol down here and these two are going to continue with their patrols up here uh, surface action group 5 uh, I believe what I'm planning on doing, at least uh, that was the thought, was once Surface Action Group 8 takes up position here, Surface Action Group 5 is going to head up into the New Georgia Sound so that we can relieve the Tar Heel Strike Group and have them go back and rearm. Uh, also, there's a couple ships in the Tar Heel Strike Group that have been damaged, um, so we are going to want to. Uh, Put them in for repairs. Now, something I haven't done in a while is take a look at our losses. So our losses are mounting, uh, mostly destroyers, but there are a few uh, heavy hitters in there, Brooklyn class, a um, couple of Atlantas. In repair, we have. Uh, these ships here um, <laughs> we will get them back once they're done with the repairs three days here one day four days uh, seven six and 12 days are the highest amounts so we will get them back right now we have 33 command points um, so we may put out a hunter group to escort the uh, supply convoy. What I've been thinking about doing also is I've got the supply convoy down here that's just kind of hanging out. 
once we get new supplies on New Hebrides and troops, load them up and send them up to retake Port Moresby and Milne Bay before taking them over to Guadalcanal. I don't think that would be a bad idea. Um, what I don't want to see happen is taking Guadalcanal, the carriers come down, and then we have to scrounge to retake these. So want to try and avoid that if possible. But for now, let's send them over here. It's going to be a day before they get there. I uh, figure with Enterprise in the uh, Solomon Sea, the South Solomon Sea here, they can hit whatever comes through. As long as we uh, take out the cargo ships, if there's any cargo ships that come down through here, um, as long as we can take them out, they won't be able to reinforce. And then we'll have to deal with uh, whatever's left over. So let's get this uh, started. Okay, we do have a uh, scout plane in this area, which is uh, kind of concerning. So. All right, let's get some scouts up if we have any available. Four to four. Okay. We're just gonna send them to their extreme limit out here, kind of do a, a wagon wheel formation. there obviously is something down there it might be a sub but I don't want uh, anything sneaking through and causing problems for Rennell Island so should get some uh, scouts up, send them up into the Solomon Sea up here. Helpful if I could see the ships. to keep them out of the uh, detection zone there. Not that we've ever really had a problem with the uh, Kingfishers getting shot down, but I'd like to avoid that if possible. Alright, there we go. be a lot of subs in this area. Oh, shit. There we go. <coughs> there we go. Okay, surface action group 8 is going to head into intercept. They are really pushing. I think they gave up on Guadalcanal. I really do. Okay, what do we have? Uh, six merchants and four destroyers. All right, Enterprise. Uh, let's get those Dauntlesses up. We'll go with 
high explosive. And send them down. Okay, from you, we're going to launch just one to keep an eye on this area here. We can readjust the uh, course as need be. Ignore that. Okay, hopefully uh, surface action group eight can intercept them before they uh, get to Rennell and put troops there. We're going to have a well, we do have a whole lot more problems. One battleship, four destroyers. Okay. So let's get another scout plane up from Minneapolis. Now this is going to be action-packed episode here. Wonder where they're going. Alright, I am going to keep the Dauntlesses on the merchants, and when possible, Enterprise is going to launch Avengers with torpedoes after this battleship. Battleship is the main target of this uh, flight. Avengers, torpedoes, head out to intercept. Kind of curious as to uh, what battleship we have coming in. Enterprise Battle Group has a, a encounter. And yeah, that's going to be a submarine. So, Okay, let's real quick take a look at our destroyers. See, 15 depth charges and 33. So we're all set for depth charges. Okay, let's uh, begin this. Okay. Break formation. Everybody bump your speed up. Oh, hang on. Turn off the fire at will. Denver. All right, we're going to have them uh, head off in this direction and hopefully hopefully don't send them directly into the torpedoes okay let's get started Fletcher see what we can see here Are those are the torpedoes right there yes they are Okay, so it looks like I turned them directly into the torpedoes. And we are going to have you turn in the other direction. Cleveland. Have you turn in the other direction as well. Uh, Denver, same thing. Okay, Fletcher. Have you turn around. Warden, we're going to have you turn to the right, or sorry, the starboard. Okay, so in this area right here is where we suspect the sub to be. Cleveland might be in trouble. Wow, 
Oh, they are coming in hard on her. It's not good. One hit, two hits, three hits. Four hits. I think we're, we just lost to Cleveland. That's not good. And that would be another hit. And we do still have a torpedo out there somewhere, so oh, maybe not. Yep. Oh, there we go. Damn it. Okay, Warden. Slow down. Let's get our revenge. Slow down. Go active for now. Fletcher. Slow down as well. Go active. Not good. Poor Cleveland. Not careful, Fletcher's gonna eat this one. Now nah, it looks like it passed. Alright, go passive. See what we can find. Here. She might still be up on the surface. There she is. Nope, that's a torpedo. Um, right now I'm not seeing anything. conditions here. Sea state 3, we should be able to detect her. Let's make sure Denver and Enterprise don't collide. There we go. Okay, Warden. Target her. Right. And turn to starboard. Fletcher. Target her. Bump up your speed a little bit to move, get in there. She's very deep, so I guess they uh, they stopped with the sitting on the surface until you're right above them tactic. We lost her probably because we were going a little too fast. And slow down to 12 knots. Fletcher, 12 knots. Okay, I'm gonna have the warden come in behind. Fletcher, you slow down even further. Slow down to nine. Ah, oh, what a way to start an episode. Losing a, uh... Cleveland class. Get 
we're gonna have to bump up the speed just a bit to catch up to her. Just want to get behind her. I could probably too close. There we go. Fletcher. Let's get our depth charges ready. Uh, okay, patterns of three. We'll do four. On a eight second delay. Okay. Turn to port, come in down behind her. I'll run right over top of her. still deep, so... I'm using a little bit of time compression to get into position here. All right, let's get this Fletcher into position in case she has to make a uh, second run. Okay, Warden. I fucked that up. Slow your speed to 12 knots. Let her get ahead of you. Swing back around the other way. And I'm just screwing this up left and right. Okay, let's slow down and let her get a little bit of a lead here. Okay, pick up your speed. Okay, Fletcher, have you come down right behind? OK, 
Okay. Alright, looking good. Get the speed up a little bit. Once we get right above her, we'll uh, slow down. There. Get our deck charges ready. her on sonar momentarily. pattern. Slow down. Okay, fire again. Good. She has stopped. See how we do here. She blows ballast. We're going to have to get out pretty quick. Have Fletcher in this direction. Actually, change that. Have her head here and slow down. Hey, Warden. There we go. Okay, revenge for the Cleveland. Check our depth charges, see what we have here. We have nine left. Fletcher has 15. Oops, don't want to do that. All right. Cleveland and Enterprise are hauling ass, and we can leave. Six command points for one sub. All right. All right. We are going to create a new hunter group. Let's see. Oops. Come on now. Take a look at the Farragut's uh, depth charges. They have 60. All right, we'll go with uh, Farragut and one Fletcher. That'll leave us with uh, yeah, 13. That's definitely not what it's going to leave us with. Uh, Hunter 100. I think this is like Hunter 3 or 4. We'll go with 4. Why not? Twenty three. It's very early in the morning, so. All right, now we are going to send you 
on your way up here. It's going to take them forever to get up there, but... Okay, back to the task at hand with these guys. Six merchants. One battleship. Okay, Avengers. And Dauntlesses. Let's see, Kingfisher. Let's get you right over the target. I do want to launch more... Uh, scouts up in this area just to keep an eye on them that's way outside their range but whatever we can adjust it as needed okay Enterprise is ready to launch, so we're going to launch a second flight of Dauntlesses. Once again with high explosive. <laughs> Primary targets being those merchants. Alright. Tactical. Uh, let's see. Three. And right, we're going to split them into groups of three to hit the uh, more. Oh, what am I saying here? Split them into groups of three so we can have greater coverage. There we go. Talking can be kind of hard at points. And we're going to put you guys in Vic. Merchants, merchant, 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 merchant. What do we have for destroyers? Anything? Now that one just appeared out of thin air, so. There we go. If we hit any of the destroyers, these more modern ones are going to be our primary target, which it looks like there's of but right now we are going to focus on the cargo ships okay you're gonna target number nine new squadron you're gonna target number ten Yellow Squadron. You are going to target number seven. And uh, Brown Squadron, Gold Squadron, whatever. Target number eight. And we're taking fire. Okay, let's see. How do we look? Alright, they're maneuvering, so... Old Squadron moving on the attack. 
move squadron, move in on the attack. We'll let these guys get a little further into position before we send them in. Attack. And attack. Alright, let's see how we did. Alright, one hit. Good hits on that one and that one. And it looks like we missed everything on that one. Uh, lost one Dauntless. Two Dauntlesses. Alright. Alright, let's pick someone who hasn't been damaged to circle above. Actually, I don't think it really matters, but uh, we will go with you. Climb up and patrol around. See if we got any kills. Let's check the uh, report. Uh, heavy, moderate, well, probably not. time compression here. See if any of them hit the bottom. I don't think that's going to happen. Heavy, moderate. Alright, unfortunately I don't think we managed to score any kills here, unless we have an accidental collision and they sink each other. Which is entirely possible. Okay, it looks like fires are spreading on her. So this is number nine. Support. Number nine is the heaviest damage, but we're not going to I'm not going to see her sink. She would have done it already. Okay. That was close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Fires are spreading. Number 10 looks like she's dead in the water. I think uh, we may have gotten lucky. Okay. Heavy, moderate, moderate, minor, and nothing else. So, less than a spectacular attack here. Alright, next up is the Avengers heading in on this battleship. Now we do have a scout up here, so there is more than likely something up here. Let's make sure uh, Surface Action Group 5 is still patrolling. Well, let's make sure they're on an intercept course to anything that may come our way. Oh my god. and try and interfere with our plans on Guadalcanal. There we go. OK, 
Okay, let's go to tactical. Never really had good luck with the uh, now hard Dauntlesses that are in here too. We're gonna keep them in groups of four. We're just gonna send every single one of them after that battleship. But for now, start, pause. There they are right there. Let's have everyone hit the deck. Okay, gold is going to move. I have two of them maneuver out to the north and one out to the south. Let's see what we have here. Where are we? Where are we? There we go. And that would be a Congo. Target number two. Nope. Uh, this may be kind of hard to, uh, get. They got her surrounded pretty good, so. But there is a Congo class battleship right there. It's the first Congo we've seen. Uh, we saw two the Yamatos and two of the Yamatos, both the uh, Yamato and Musashi, uh, earlier in the campaign, and we sent them back to Rabul with heavy damages. We haven't seen any battleships since then. So, all right, Red Squadron, warm up. Okay, blue squadron, break, warm up, head in, and yellow squadron, break, warm up, and head in. Okay. Start your run. I'm gonna try and salvage uh, or save these guys and manually get them out of here. Okay, pause for a second here. Blue squadron attack. Gold squadron attack. All right, everyone is heading in. Hopefully that those destroyers don't screen the uh All right, what we got here. One, two, three. Break, pull them up. Climb. And get out. And we lost one of them. Okay, these guys are moving in. I think their fish are away. Looks like number five and number eight are the only two that made it through. Okay, that destroyer got hit. Well, that's unfortunate. She may dodge these and those. My God, it went right underneath her. That's that's a crock, absolute crock, an absolute crock.
at least get one hit. They all missed. Every single one of them missed. And we lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of our 12 Avengers. Oh, that's a disappointment. Congo is completely unscathed here. Number four took the, uh, took a torpedo, but... Moderate damage, moderate flooding. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. All right, we'll have you... Let's fly around here for a while, see if we can, uh, see if that destroyer will actually hit the bottom. Very unlikely, although it looks like the fires are spreading. TV. New Hebrides. E-17s. Definitely not what I wanted to see. Wildcats. Intercept them. Shit. Alright, let's hopefully we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> Lame, but I know. Okay, Wildcat. Wildcats. Hello, Wildcats. Stop. Wildcats, come back. Launch you right over this carrier. Nautiluses. Is... should be able to intercept them with a uh, surface action group 8. That carrier takes a hit from uh, torpedoes or anything. We're 
kind of screwed. Okay, let's uh, make another strike here. We've got 10. Uh, we'll go with that. Three groups. All right, there they are right off the bat. So let's check the damages. Report. So number nine and number 10 are the damaged ones. We are going to have a group of three go after number 10 and a group of two go after number two. A group of three target. Number 10, group of 2, target number 9, and the second group of 3 will target number 8. Number 8. Okay, I'll just send everyone in on the attack. Let's see how we do here. Diving. First group. Bombs are away. number nine once again not the best we didn't lose any dauntlesses in that attack so that's a good thing okay you're gonna stick around and patrol see if we can't actually sink one of these things enterprise may have to uh, head to cooktown to uh, rearm pretty soon Check the report. Heavy, heavy, moderate, minor. These air strikes today, they've been uh, very disappointing. Not, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, and the Japanese have definitely stepped up their game. And I'm pretty sure none of these are gonna sink, so we're going to retreat. Okay, you're gonna return to base. All right, let's see, Enterprise, can you launch yet? Five Avengers. Okay. Dauntlesses. Return to base. All right, that's going to do it for episode number 50. Uh, Japanese continue to push us in areas that we do not expect them to push. Um, it's a pretty effective strategy, to be honest with you. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't start sending supply convoys back down towards uh, Guadalcanal, but I think we've got that area pretty much covered. Um, we did lose the Cleveland in that torpedo attack, but her loss was avenged pretty quick by our uh, destroyers in the Enterprise battle group. Uh, going forward, we've got the Congo class to deal with and the uh, the supply convoy. And considering our air attacks have been uh, 
somewhat less than stellar, I think we are uh, probably going to have to rely on surface groups. And at this point, we don't really have anything in the area to deal with that battleship, but we're going to change that, and we're going to change that pretty quick because they definitely cannot get through to Rennell Island because that would be just another setback that we can't afford. Anyway, uh, if you like the episode, hit that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe button and come along through uh, the battle for Guadalcanal and the greater Solomon region, it would seem. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very, very good day.